The Fort Erie Meteors starting their quest for a Sutherland Cup, their first in franchise history as they kick off round one against the Port Colburn Sailors in Fort Erie in front of 900 strong. First period action of this one. Fort Erie, Hunter Coley gets him on the board of the first period. He walks right in and fires it home. Coley knots his first of the playoffs. Meteors take a 1-0 lead. But Port Colburn would answer late in the first period. Sailors on the power play. This puck's going to be worked up top into the slot. Jacob Raposo's going to tip it out front. And just like that, we are tied at one in Fort Erie. That's where we would sit after 20 minutes of play at the Leisure Plex. To the second period we go. And it takes a whole 30 seconds for Fort Erie to retake the lead. Kyle Adamo, shot from the point from RJ Schmidt. Adamo tips it out front. And Kyle Adamo's got his first to the playoffs. Meteors retake the lead. They go up two to one. That would be all the scoring in the second period as we head into the third frame. Still 2-1 Fort Erie. Meteors pressing for more. Georgie Trapsev's going to sit up front. Dominic DeFrancesco's going to feed it right on his tape. He fires it short side. Trapsev gives Fort Erie some big time insurance in the third frame as the Meteors take a 3-1 lead. But Port Colburn would not give up. Down 3-1, the Sailors looking to get back within one. How about this laser beam from Carson Bennett? Top shelf, Bennett has his first of the postseason. And just like that, Port Colburn is back within one goal with plenty of time to go in the third frame. But Fort Erie, a couple of minutes later, Sam Tonelli gets his old team back in a big way on the big stage. Tonelli time hits the postseason at the Fortress as the Meteors get some big insurance. They go up 4-2 to two in this one. Now three minutes left to go in this hockey game. Port Colburn pulling the netminder. Down two goals late. A turnover in their own zone. Blake Hall gets a gift to his stick as he fires it into the empty cage. Hall puts a pin in this one for the Meteors who escape with a game one victory over the Sailors on home ice. Fort Erie goes up 1-0 in the best of seven series. Game two slated to go Monday night back in Port Colburn. Meteors win game one over the Port Colburn Sailors by a final score of 5-2. Sam Tonelli, Sam, you get your former team, you score a big goal to make it 4-2 late in the third period. Just take me through the emotions and the feels of that. Yeah, I mean, we, we were going at it sort of the whole game. They were letting me have it, so putting that one in the back of the net felt pretty good. What was it like playing against your former team and, like I said, getting that big goal to uh, to put your guys over the top and uh, get a big game one win on home ice? Yeah, I mean, playing against your former teams, it's a little weird, but it just makes you want to win that much more. I mean, I know all the guys, which makes me hate them when we're on the ice, so it, it was good. I'm excited for the next three games and uh, go from there. This place was, this place was packed here in Fort Erie for game one. What do you have to say about the fans and uh, what excites you most about coming home for game three? Um, yeah, the fan base is great every single night and I can't wait for us to keep on this run and let, get this place packed. They kept it really close through 40 minutes of play. Sam, what was the message in the third period from the coaches and uh, how did you guys like how you responded in the third period? Um, the coaches just said we got to attack the net more. We were playing too far outside and we just needed to put it in the paint and see what happens. And I mean, my goal was exactly that. We shot the puck from the point and I was there in the paint and put it away. So. I think the coaches had a great game plan, and it worked out. Meteors defenseman R.J. Schmidt with me. R.J., game one, a big one in this building. The fans were electric. Just take me through the experience and uh, the atmosphere here today. Uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we played a hard 60 minutes, which, uh, you know, we came and planned to do, and uh, it was good. You know, guys stuck up for each other. Guys played hard. Guys battled all night, and, you know, we just didn't take a foot off the gas. And, you know, it's fun to watch, and it's fun to be a part of. So, yeah, it was good. Take me through the game plan here coming into game one against a really gritty poor Colburn team. Uh, you know, we knew they were going to do a little neutral zone trap sort of thing, whether, you know, it was a German bowl or whatever. But um, we just got to, like, move our feet, play hard, make plays, tape to tape passes, get the puck deep, and, you know, just outwork them in the O zone. And I, I think it worked well for us tonight. They kept it really close through 40 minutes, RJ. What was the message coming out in the third period? And uh, you guys able to score a couple of goals and take over? Uh, you know, come up fast. You know, if we bury one early, you know, uh, you thought you could put them away quick, and uh, you know we scored within the first three minutes there, like we uh, like we wanted to do in the first five. So I thought it was good. We stuck to the game plan, and we played a hard sixty all night, so it was good.